Hey folks, Johnny Candle here with Midwest Outdoors. We're trolling crankbaits today for walleye. Been a lot of northern pike mixed in too. I got my good friend Ethan Preston here. Uh, we're actually hooked up right away this morning. First pass, uh, we'll see what this fish is and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun today catching fish. And we got a double right out of the gate. Ethan, <laughs> you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> Man, uh, you can't ask for better action than this. Didn't even get them set to the right depth Start yet. Start the day off, and uh, it looks like we got one of each here, oh. Ethan. Oh, that's a little too big to get without a net, but when your buddy's all tangled up with a northern pike, you got to do what you got to do. There we go. That's and a... flooded road beds, crankbaits, and walleyes, they go, they go hand in hand. And Ethan, I don't know about you, but that looks like a fish fry waiting to happen. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> We'll put water in there in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was only at 20 feet back. And... Got another one on. I'm going to get this rod out of your way, Ethan, and we'll move it over here to the middle. Won't get tangled up that way. There we go. Oh, another nice one, Johnny. All right. Another nice one. Oh, yeah. A little more. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Midsummer Devil's Lake road bed walleye right there. Perfect. Man, I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. Here you go, Ethan. It looks like you got another one over there. She's not fighting very hard. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> it's been known to be compared to reeling in a wet sock. <laughs> Same road bed, same transition, playing with different colors and styles of baits. So far, this one, this style has been good for us. There we go, Devil's Lake Walleye. Can't go wrong with that. This might sound a little weird, Ethan, but when we get down here to the end, we're gonna pull everything up and run back and make the same trolling pass. Keeping the wind at our back just makes life a little simpler and it worked, so why not do it again? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Ethan, you can't even get them out. I wasn't even to the number yet. You know you're on them when you can't even get it to the right depth. I had the counter at 51 and I was going to 55. Man, they're just nice, fat, healthy, chunky Devil's Lake walleyes. Dog days of summer in Devil's Lake is a great time to start covering water. The fish start spreading out. They're moving around a little bit more. Uh, they like these long pieces of structure, uh, a flooded roadbed like we're trolling today or some kind of transition between hard and soft bottom. Getting the baits down to the bottom you. and <laughs> you can see that it works. Uh, but yeah, midsummer, late summer, early fall, trolling, covering water, crankbaits, and I better reel this fish in right here. Oh yeah, look at there, another eater. A surfer, first one of those today, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with a 16 inch walleye and that's what we got staring us right in the face right here. Ethan, I sure hope you're counting how many are in there. So a lot of folks believe that there's not much to think about when you're trolling, and I, I hear it all the time. I don't like to troll because it's boring. Well, I think there's a lot to think about. We're just gonna talk about where do I put my equipment. You'll notice in my boat setup, I've got rod holders all over the place, and they're all there for a reason, and there's different types of holders for a reason. The cradle holders are a little more fixed. I can adjust angles, lift them up and down. Uh, but I've got long rods further forward in one holder. I've got shorter rods in a different style holder in the back of the boat. And I always like to leave one empty holder in the center of the boat. That way, if I get a fish on an outside rod, I can move the shorter rod in the middle somewhere out of the way. It's still fishing, but I can reel the fish in without any lines in my way to get tangled up. So you're being more efficient, more effective, catching more fish just by taking a few minutes to think about how to lay out the rod holders in your boat.
All right, folks, uh, we've had a pretty good day so far uh, on Devil's Lake, and it's starting to rain a little bit. Uh, not the best for fishing, and uh, quite honestly, I forgot my raincoat, so I don't want to get wet. I want to thank Ethan Preston today for joining us. Uh, nothing better than trolling crankbaits with a good buddy and catching a nice fish dinner. I'm Johnny Candle for Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.